Hi, how you doing? <laughs> All right, fishy folks, the fishies are in the tank. They see them both against the back wall. We're gonna let them get acclimated. I'm gonna shut the light off and uh, I'll come back tonight, film them with the light on so you can see them and we'll go from there. Peace out, be right back. Well, not right back, in a little while. You know what I mean. All right, fishy folks, happy Sunday fun day. My fun is checking out these plecos. And a customer asked for some green phantom plecos and I picked them up for my supplier today. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a little fungus on one of them. And uh, I'm gonna keep them in an extended quarantine to try to fix it. Um, so yeah, so they're gonna go in this 10 gallon tank. Uh, I took out all the uh, crushed coral because they don't need the harder water. I'm gonna take out whatever those two little fishies are swimming back there. Take those out. Uh, and I'm gonna, you know, dose my normal quarantine meds. And after a week, if uh, I still see the fungus, then I will treat specifically for the fungus. Um, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna uh, let them get acclimated in the bag uh, by temperature. And then uh, I'm going to plop and drop because that's, that's how I roll. Uh, more Sunday Funday activities. The plan is to drill these two tanks. And uh, the lights are off because it's Saturday afternoon. So sorry, but uh, I moved the Red Dragons from this tank to this tank because it's already drilled. So the plan will be to put empty this tank, put a drill tank here, plumb it put what's in the glass bellies in here into this tank and then put a drill tank here and plumb it and then this shelf will be drilled. I've also come to the conclusion that I'm not gonna put any tanks down here because my sump pump, it's the easiest way to get to the sump pump. I can unscrew the pipe, unscrew the pipe. I can disconnect the pipe and take the sump pump out and work on it or replace it if I need to right through here. So that's, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna leave that as storage for now. Uh, the Oscar tank, Han and Leia, uh, are doing well. I did put a heater in there. Some of you guys suggested it might be a little chilly, so, uh, I put a heater in there. I don't know what the temperature is, but it's definitely warmer. And big Plecosaurus down there is doing well. And then we have the goldfish up here, whose new name is Chunky Gold Medina. Thank you, Aquarium Cop. He's the one that uh, they gave me the name Chunky Gold Medina, who's being shy, of course. You can just see some fins back there. So maybe we'll go in the back and, and, and check Chunky out. <sighs> Chunky, where you at? There you are. Chunky Gold Medina. Say hi. Yeah, I've been slowly pulling... Um, Java moss out of here as he cleans the uh, the duckweed from it and putting it in my live bear tanks. So there's just a bunch of stuff in here that needs to get cleaned up. So all right, fishy folks, I'm going to uh, let those green phantoms acclimatize and I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, I'm just about ready to plop and drop. I just want to go over the meds I use for my quarantine. Uh, which is the same thing as core uses from aquarium co-op em erythromycin uh, general cure and ICX from aquarium solutions and of course my aquarium co-op fancy measuring spoon i'll put links in the description below for the the meds you can buy them on amazon check them out you can buy them at corey's website check them out you can buy them at supercichlids.com check it out I have a package coming from them. I'm very excited for some food. I used a very special promotion code, HAP Nation, baby. 15% off my entire purchase, HAP Nation. I'll put links below for the super cichlids and the, uh, I'll uh, put HAP Nation down there as well. We all know my boy IFG, inquisitive fish guy. He worked a deal with them and 15% uh, off is pretty nice. So. 
we got some surprises coming from them for the fish room. The uh, I've already added the meds to the tank. Um, I'm just I, I'm kind of busy, so I added the meds. I'm gonna plop and drop, and then we'll show them in the tank. I got the two uh, the two guppies fry out. I think they're guppies at least. I put a piece of driftwood in there for these guys, and uh, yeah. So the auto water change system is shut off for this tank, and it's a very simple system. I've taken the hose that normally goes here and put it in this tank. So this tank um, with grass guppies and calico plecos, and there's one destroying some, uh, some zucchini, uh, we'll get a little bit extra water change. That didn't hurt anyone, did it? Um, and that's what I do. I didn't build in shutoff valves or anything. Cause I'm cheap and I can do this. So, all right, fishy folks, stand by for the plop and drop. All right, fishy folks, the plop and drop is quite simple. But first, let's look at the delicious looking green phantom plecos. Pretty nice size too. And I'm giving Kim, they're for Kim. Hi Kim. Kim's a truck driver out in Montana, maybe Idaho, somewhere out there. And uh, Kim's bought some other fish for me. In fact, the koi angels in the big 55, as soon as it gets warmer, they're hers too. Anywho, hi Kim. Uh, let's pop and drop, shall we? Simple rubber band. They really weren't bagged too well. The kid at, at the my supplier didn't bag them super, but that's okay because uh, yeah, there they are. Say hi, green phantoms. Okay, put them in the tank. Stand by. Want to see him in the tank? I bet you do. <laughs> All right, fishy folks. The fish are in the tank, but I have the camera the wrong ray. So wrong ray. The wrong. All right, fishy folks. It is actually the next morning, and I'm filming these guys. So you can take a look. There they are. They look like they're a nice size. Really, they do. Usually, not usually. Sometimes they come in and they're really skinny, but these guys aren't that skinny. Let's see if we can get them to. There you go. Look at that. It's a good looking green phantom pleca right there. Uh, these two are actually sold, but I can probably get more. So if you're interested, certainly shoot me an email. Michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. And uh, I'll see what I can do about getting them. Like I said, it appeared these guys had a little bit of a fungus on them when I picked them up. I chose to take them and uh, treat them myself. Of course, we'll be treating with EM erythromycin, General Cure, and ICX as the regular quarantine meds. Again, links in the description below for those products if you're interested in buying them. I don't think you can get EM erythromycin anymore, so we're going to have to come up with something else. Um, I haven't tried to feed these guys yet. I will be feeding the tanks in a little while, so... I'm going to drop a algae wafer in there to see if they eat it. Um, yeah, so let's go from there. All right. Be right back. All right, fishy folks. I fed the room, and these guys don't seem to be interested in that algae wafer. Could be the lights are on. Could be they're still getting acclimated. It is what it is, as they say. Um... The other plecos in the fish room seem to be okay. There was one in here. Of course, I can't see it now. The snails have taken up the zucchini that was in here. Let's look at the regular bristle nose. Hey there, stand in the way. So there's a fork I gotta get out of there. That's where the zucchini, see the zucchini? Yeah, that's what they do. Uh, and that one might be going over to the algae wafer. It's going to start sucking on it like it was a filet mignon. Yeah, I like me some steak. All right, sorry. Getting, oh, the, uh, the guppies are eating it, but the plecos will chase them away eventually. Let's take a look at Zlatan, my blue phantom pleco. I do have one. There's Zlatan. I do have one blue phantom pleco for sale. If you're interested, send me an email and I will give you the price. Actually, that's that tan. Sorry. 
he's a little bit bigger than the other one which has the light dorsal fin uh, and then we have these lemon blue eye pleco some call them l144 some say there are no l144s left but sort of in the hobby these are referred to as l144s you can see these guys eating whatever they want right now there's a lot of snails on that zucchini but they've uh they've destroyed this zucchini already but he's just snacking loving life eating vegetables staying healthy so speaking of plecos uh yeah the, the plan is to breed these guys and uh put them up on the website when they're ready to go i've already sold a couple mike out in colorado bought some and uh i've sold some other blue phantoms so if you're interested in plecos let me know i do have a pretty good supplier who can get them and i do try to keep the cost down for you guys you make you get a nice pleco, I make a little bit of ching ching, and we're all good. All right, shall we take a look at Chunky Gold Medina? Chilling in his 90, sorry, in his 75 gallon all by himself. We got the fancy Japanese filter back there. Looks like uh, I do need to change some polyfill in there, but yeah, we'll put that on a list of things to do. So his whole job in the fish room is to uh, look sweet like he does. Look at him, he's all chunky and gold it's a good looking goldfish i bought him when he was like this big and uh his only job in the fish room besides looking chunky and gold is eating duckweed and i think he's got most of the duckweed out of here so what i do basically is once he eats all the duckweed i'd start pulling out the java moss putting him in my live bearer tanks i'll probably leave the uh water wisteria water sprite whatever it is in here just to soak up uh nitrogen and stuff but you know i may plant it i may put it in other tanks i do like to float it in my guppy tanks it does make uh um does take care of hiding spots so how about we take a look at this bottom tank of course i have crap in the way i did add that little rock formation thingy for the pouty oscars there's leia for the pouty oscars to chill um there's ham yeah they ate already i fed them some flakes i fed them some uh blood worm no some brine shrimp that's what we had this morning brine shrimp in the fish room and there of course is the ginormous pleco that has already eaten at least one algae wafer that i put in there sorry about this fantastic camera angle but i got i got tanks projects in the way these two are going to be drilled we talked about that blah 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 all right, fishy folks, that's it for today's Sunday Fun Day video. If you, uh, if you want to buy any fish, you know, hit up my website, michaelsfishroom.com. If you have any questions, certainly email me, uh, michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. And uh, if you don't mind, you know, why don't you hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. If you don't like what you see, that's fine. Hit the subscribe button anyway. I don't really care. No. If you don't like what you see, tell me. There are a couple of people who have told me. They don't like what they see. And that's fine. Don't give me a thumbs down and then don't say anything, though. That's crappy. That's cowardly. Just looking at the red dragon fry right there. Chilling. And you can see that platy back there. That I got to get out of there. Uh, all right, folks. We're going to end with a nice shot of Bruce. Bruce. Hi, Bruce. Bruce. Look at him. All adorable and cute-like. All right. Take it easy, folks.